Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today's video is about finding first non-repeated characters of words in a sentence in C, C++. So if you're interested, let's get started. The idea of this video comes from one of my subscribers. In his comment, he was asking how to find the first character of each word in a string ignoring all those characters that are previously found in C++. And he gave the example, if that is true, then do that. So with this example string, the output he's expecting should be ITD. So let's switch over to Visual Studio to see how we can do that. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on File, New Project. Okay, in the New Project window, make sure you have C++ selected and also select 132. From this list, we're gonna select 132 console application. So the name I'm gonna use for my project is gonna be first non-repeated char in word. Click okay. On this dialog, just click next. And then here we're not gonna make any changes. Simply click finish. Okay, so let's define a constant string here. Constant string str equals, if that is true, then do that. This is the same string mentioned in the video. So let's see how we can write the function like this. First, non-repeated char in word. And we're going to give it our string here. So this function should be able to print out the result for me. So let's go ahead and define this function. Void. I'm going to just copy the name here. And this simply takes in a const char pointer, pointer to string. P or PSTR. Okay, the first thing we should always do is check for null or invalid parameters. So in this case, we only have one parameter. If there is null, then we simply do nothing here. We cannot do anything. Otherwise, we're going to do a while loop. As long as we have characters in the string, we're going to walk over all characters of a string. And then we can say char c equals contents of pister. So this is every character in the string. Eventually, we're going to print out that character like this. So, but we're not going to print every character. We actually want to print non-repeated ones. In order to make sure that we only print the first occurrence of every character, we're going to use a bucketing technique. So we're going to use basically an array of 256. And each element in the array is going to be the count of each character. So the trick here is just like we did in previous videos, we're going to use the character itself as an index into this array. So integer count of 256, and let's initialize this to zero. And now simply we can say if plus plus count of this character is actually one, just print it out. So this will only print the first occurrence of each character. Notice that here we only print the characters. So when we're done with everything, we should print out a new line character. So I'm going to do new line, done, and also another new line. So as it is this way, let's go ahead and try it and see how this one works. So let's compile it. Control F5 on the keyboard. Click yes. As you can see, it's printing out all the characters that are found the first time. Anything that's repeated is not going to be printed out. However, this is not case sensitive. As you can see, we have capital I and small letter I. So according to the request in the video, we actually want it to be case sensitive. By including ctype.h, we can use the function to upper. So basically, we're not going to treat upper and lower differently. We're just going to assume everything is uppercase and only print out the uppercase. So let's give this another try. Control F5. Let's run it. So now, as you can see, everything is printed out capital letter. And also, we're not going to be differentiating between capital letter and small letter. So this is a step towards the solution that we want. However, as you can see, it prints out F, it prints out T and H because it's only using the first count. So it sees F the first time, so it thinks, okay, F is also part of the output, so it prints it out. What we actually want to do is only print the first letter of each word. So that means the space character here is important. Let's add another variable called length. And the length is going to help us count how many characters in a string. So if C is actually a space like this, I'm going to reset the length to zero. Else, I'm going to simply say, let's see how many 
characters we have we're going to say plus plus len right if plus plus len is one and this is the first time we see this character so what does this mean this means if this is the first character of a string and this character has never been seen before this is the first time only then print it out all right so let's give this a try Control f5 so as you can see now it's only printing out itd and because that the only letters that apply to this condition are the first letters of every word plus they have to be only repeated once meaning that only on the first time we see them if we comment out this line here we can potentially be seeing a different output then we can do it this way let's give this a try Control f5 and now it's printing out the first letter of every word in that sentence if that is true then do that okay so let's go back to the original solution we were trying to get which is this solution and run it again and there you go itd as expected okay so i hope you find this useful please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future thank you for watching